Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to see how to send email from Microsoft Access without using Outlook. A lot of people have been emailing me lately telling me that they upgraded to the new Outlook and they can no longer send email. In fact, I did another little video on this last week talking about an article from Office Watch that the new Outlook is not ready and has problems with sending email automated from Access. But let's take a look at our question. It comes from Mallory in Adena, Minnesota, one of my Platinum members. Adena says, recently I've encountered issues with do command send object when trying to send emails from Access, especially with the newer versions of Outlook. It seems like this method is no longer available. Could you recommend any alternative methods for sending emails directly from Access? Yes, Adina, we're going to use something called CDO. That stands for Collaboration Data Objects. And that's just a fancy library that comes with Windows that allows you to talk directly to a mail server without having to go through your email program like Outlook. And this will work with most SMTP servers, including Gmail, although there's something that you have to do to get it to work with Gmail. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if you have your own corporate mail server or you pay for SMTP access, you can send email using this code that we're going to talk about today. Now, this is going to be a developer level video. Unfortunately, you need some VBA in order to do this. You can't do it without programming. But don't worry, VBA isn't scary. Go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started programming. Make sure you understand basic concepts like an if then statement. If not, I got videos on that stuff too. And make sure you understand how to get a value from an open form. We're gonna use that to grab the email address off the customer form and put it into our email sending form. These are all free videos. They're on my website, they're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and come on back. There's gonna be a couple more as we're going through the video. I'll point them out where necessary. First off, I wanted to quickly address this issue that's coming up with the new version of Outlook that's out there. There's a new kind of web-based version of Outlook that is replacing the classic Outlook, which is a PC application that has come with Microsoft Office since I can remember, since the 90s. But the new Outlook doesn't work like classic Outlook, and the new Outlook doesn't allow a lot of the VBA programming stuff that classic Outlook always has. So how do you tell it, which version you've got? This is on Microsoft's site. I will give you a link down below so you can go read this on your own. But in a nutshell, if you don't see the file option up on the ribbon on the menu here, then you've got new Outlook. And just like new Coke, it's not very good. Uh, it's a real lightweight, simple application for you to read your mail. It's got some limitations. For example, you have to be connected to the internet for it to work, kind of like Gmail uh, in the web browser. And uh, there's a lot more information in here, and you can go in and read about it and stuff like that, and what you got to do. But that's how you can tell what version of Outlook you have. And if you've got the new Outlook and you still want to use Outlook with access, uninstall this and install or reinstall Classic Outlook. And you should be able to still use your do command send object to send your reports and stuff. But if not, that's what today's lesson's about. We're going to send email without having to even have a mail program on your computer. We're just going to use access to do it. Oh, one more thing that I got to mention before we get started. If you plan on doing this with Gmail, you have to set up a Gmail app password. You can't just use your username and password that you log into Google with. You have to actually set up a specific password to send email through Gmail. So go watch this video, I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can grab off my website if you want to, and I got a whole video on how this thing was built. But basically we got a customer form here, and we have contacts. Contacts are every time you talk to this customer, you put a note in here. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna make a button right here that says send email. It's gonna open up another form that's gonna look like you know sending email. Here, I'll show you in my other copy of my database. I ran through this earlier. Sometimes I run through this ahead of time just to make sure. Here's a send email button. I, I, I shorten the customer form. Send email. It'll copy over the email. Put you right in here for the subject, right? This is the subject. And the body, you know, how are you today? Whatever. Okay. And then you'll hit send and it will send it. I got mine set up through Gmail there. It's successful and it will log that in the contacts. So if I go to the contacts form now, you can see right here. There's one I sent earlier. Here's one I sent, uh, let's see, I sent this one to Will Riker from Jean-Luc Picard. There's that one. Let's see here. Yeah, you can, you can read that on your own time if you want to. 
Um, and then this is the one that I just sent there. So you got your emails being logged in your contact table. Okay, that's what we're gonna do in this video series. So we'll come back to this form in just a minute. Let's start off by making the email form. Now I'm gonna take a copy of the main menu because I want this to just be a, a you know a one-off form. It's not gonna have any data stored in it. We're just gonna have some unbound fields and an unbound form. And the main menu's eh, pretty close to that already. So I'm gonna take main menu, copy, paste, and we'll call this my email F, my email form. Now open this guy up, design view, and I'm going to delete everything except for a text box, a button, and the status box. Yeah, I'm gonna delete the logo. All right, fine. Okay, let's change the color of this just a little bit so we can tell it apart from what we're doing. Okay. All right, so this will become our two box, right? Two. And I will left align that. Let's go a little bit darker with the background. Just a hair. Let's go to that. Yeah, that looks better. Let me open this up permanently by double clicking on it. Okay, so this will be my two line, the email. Let's open this guy up. We're gonna change the name to email and we'll get rid of the control source. We'll get rid of the format. Now, if I wanna copy this over from the customer form, I'm gonna to go to the data tab and for default value, I'm gonna say equals forms customer F email, okay? Why am I putting that in the default value instead of the control source? Well, if you put it in the control source, it's locked. Right, you can't change it. It's always gonna be equal to that. If you put it in the default value, it's gonna start at that when you open this form, but you can change it. So if you're gonna send an email to someone, but they're like, hey, send this to my personal address instead, you can always overtype that, okay? Or you can make this a combo box and pick from a list if the person's got multiple email addresses. There's so much you can do with this, folks. I'm just covering the basics, all right? So there's that field. Now we need a subject line, copy, paste. Let's put this up here. This will be the subject and change the name over here to subject. And get rid of that data source that we put in there, the, the default value, we don't need that anymore. All right, uh, this is gonna be our status box, which we're gonna like to see the status, because we're gonna wanna know if the email went out or, uh, successfully or not, right? We'll take care of that too, we'll do a little debugging and some error handling. Uh, I'm gonna move this button down here. This is going to be the send button, All right? And in fact, I'm gonna put a little ampersand in front of the S, that way I can hit Alt S and that pushes the send button, right? And we can make that text a little bigger if you want to like that. Okay, anyways, one more field up top, copy paste. This will be the body of our email, All right? Body. And we'll make this nice and big. And I'm gonna change one property here. Go to the other, well, first let's give it a name. Let's call it body. Did I name this one subject? Yes, I did. Okay, Alzheimer's kicking in. Um, on the other tab, I'm gonna change the enter key behavior. So instead of default, it's new line in a field, right? Treats it more like a long text field. So when I hit enter in here, I can make new paragraphs instead of it jumping to the next field. All right, save that. Let's go into the VBA behind this, which I put a button up here on my quick launch toolbar to do that, but you can just right click on this button and go to build event. And that'll bring up the code editor, there it is. And I'm going to delete everything in here except for that status function. I'm gonna use that for when we display the status of our email. Okay, okay, so we're done with that. Give it a quick debug compile, make sure everything's good. Let's make a button to open this form from the other form. So let's close this, go to the customer form. And like I did in my sample database, I'm just gonna delete some stuff out of here just for the purpose of the video. We don't need all this stuff in here. And I'm just gonna slide these buttons over to the left, just like that make things a little bit easier to see on the screen. Okay, copy one of these buttons here, copy paste, and this will be my send email button. All right, we're gonna send this person an email, right? All right, let's give the button a good name instead of command 30, send email BTN, send email button. And then we're gonna right click build event, and this is gonna be do command open form email F. That's it, we don't have to send it any parameters because the email form gets the email address from the open customer form, okay? Now, if you want to prevent the user from doing this, where they, let me show you, where you open this and then you hit send email, right? Let me move this over here. All right, and then they change customers back here. If you wanna prevent that, just make this a modal form, 
right? And then they can't click on anything behind it until they close this guy. Okay, let's change that caption. And one more thing I wanna change when this opens, I wanna make sure that the, the focus is in the subject field and not sitting down here on the last control that was added. That's an email button. Actually, that was, that was there originally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into design view. Let's change that caption. All right, send email or whatever you wanna put in there. I'm gonna adjust the tab order, hit auto order, that's fine. But I'm gonna put the email field last. So I'm gonna click on this and drag it to the bottom. What's gonna happen is it's gonna start then in the subject field, which is first in the tab order, right? That's where you wanna start, because you're just gonna assume you're sending to this. And then tab goes to here. Tab will then go to here. We're gonna remove the status box from the tab order because we wanna see it, but I don't wanna stop there when I'm tabbing. And then we'll go here. And then if you want to, you can tab back up to the email. So let's hit okay. Let's click on the status box and take that out of the tab order. So we'll go tab stop, no. So the end result, what you get is click and now you're in subject, right? I can just type in my subject, tab, type in my body, right? Tab again and I'm on send email. And if I tab another time, I'm back up to two. Okay, see how that works? That's pretty cool. All right, so we got our infrastructure already built, right? We got our button, we got our email form, the setup, you know, the, the, the visible stuff we need on the screen is all set. Now we're ready to put the code behind that button. And we're gonna do that in tomorrow's video, in part two. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel, or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because I'm going to keep recording right now. And that's one of the benefits that members get is that they don't have to wait. They can watch my videos as soon as I post them. But that's going to do it for part one. We'll see you tomorrow for part two. That's your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsor, Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. They're manufacturing experts specializing in Microsoft Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. Check them out at accessexperts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics 
faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.